Hey guys, I've recently tested out some pretty cool little inexpensive radios. One was the USDX or the Micro uh, SDX radio, and the other one was the True SDX radio, and um, I really liked them. I, I enjoyed pl uh, playing with and testing these little things. So I've kind of uh, gone down the path to uh, try to research and do some more on these and, and look into some other radios that are like this. And I found the USDX Plus. It's a little radio that I've ordered and it just arrived. So what I'm going to do this time is right here at home in my home base station, I'm going to open it up right out of the box, plug it in and see if I can make a contact. Stick around. I ordered my USDX Plus from an American seller on eBay and got it in about a week. I ordered the version without the battery because the claims are without the battery, the external 13.8 volt that you would put to this would give you 5 watts PEP SSB output. My base antenna that we'll be using is the Sigma Eurocom HF360, the fiberglass vertical that is mounted on the fire escape over a metal roof right out my back window here in the port of Portsmouth and Norfolk, Virginia. So I'm surrounded by salt water, which usually helps me a lot because this antenna is somewhat a compromised antenna, but it's all I can have because of the HOA situation I live in. Okay, here we go. Let's open this thing up and uh, see what we've got. Wow, what's really cool and what I thought is uh, pretty amazing is how small this thing is. I think I'm too close to the camera to even show you, but I mean, that shows you how tiny the microphone is. This thing is small uh, compared to the uh, True SDX. This will give you an, an idea if you have one of these. And compared to the, the original, the older USDX, you can see this thing's uh, pretty tiny. It's a small little radio. So I'm um, pretty excited now. I want to plug this thing in and let's see what we can do. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, QRP. Kilo 4 Oscar, Golf Oscar, thank you. QRP, I got it. 58, 518, 1290, Roger. Uh, Roger, Roger, you're 5'9 tonight into Virginia. This is the first QSO on this new radio. A little USDX Plus here. Thank you. Hi, thanks a lot, Boulder 7 and Thank you. Okay, that was cool. Right out of the box. Pretty cool QSO. Um, here's what I'm going to, I just, I'm going to try next. And the next, I want to get back on and make another QSO, but I'm going to try to do it. I, I noticed one thing. This is a uh, basically a, a, a Baofeng UV5R. This one's actually a TID radio or Tide radio anyway. But you notice it's a bigger. These are speaker mics, so the sound that you are hearing is coming out of this. The thing, what I noticed though, is the jack. The jacks on these is basically the uh, Baofeng jack. So um, I'm going to plug it in this time now and, and, and see the difference or, or, or if it works. Let's just see if the uh, the Baofeng uh, mic will work on the USDX Plus. Kilo Oscar Golf Oscar, is correct? Uh, QSL, QSL, you're five nine into Norfolk, Virginia. Thank you for the contact. 5-9 in Cuba. Thank you. Thank you. 73. That was a fun experiment. I enjoyed it. So um, this little thing, um, it, it worked. It worked. And, and as I say, um, you hear so many stories from people that say they get them and they're bad. I have been lucky. This is the... Uh, Third one of these type of radios I've gotten, the True USDX, the USDX, and now the USDX Plus that um, have all worked for me. I haven't had any problems yet. And I have heard that other people have had these issues. And um, yeah, like anything else, especially when you're buying something from China, you know, buyer beware. But um, I'm, um, I'm, I'm happy. I want to keep playing with these radios. I am, uh, I am becoming a fan of uh, this this whole uh, genre of uh, inexpensive little um uh, little radios that uh, all came from uh, the the design from um, Manuel and Guido and the the USDX slash True USDX family uh, that type of thing. I I know they probably uh, frown upon these and they they are I don't know if they're happy or not of what direction these things have gone in. But uh, hey, for the price, you know, a little over hundred bucks, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna buy one and play with it if it's. No good, I'll, I'll rip it apart and use it for parts and what have you. So anyway, hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Walt, K4OGO73.